ओके तो नेक्स्ट इज एज आई टोल्ड what is uh, you said rheumatoid nodule you can see that what is rheumatoid nodule see the picture clearly carefully just what do you see in a picture what uh, rheumatoid nodule you see it is a patient comes to you with such characteristics what kind of nodule it is what kind of swelling it is tell me so have you seen any patient with such thing anyone have you seen a patient with a rheumatoid nodule ever especially old age people we see that see rheumatoid nodules are basically lumps okay so lumps these are uh, form in nature okay seen in like uh, 20% of the cases and these are non painful these are not painful okay there are uh, these are subcutaneous nodules and mainly found on the extensor surfaces of the hand okay it is a characteristic feature of the rheumatoid arthritis okay and a marker of a disease activity and can be present even if the features of rheumatoid arthritis are absent so but so coming up to the lab investigations okay as i told neutropenia so for that you need to do a cbct lcd lc check for hb esr and uh, gbp what is gbp gbp Do you understand by G G B P? Anyone? Sorry, there was my network was broken. I guess. Yes, sir. The presentation is not visible. Yeah, yeah, my network is like light has gone actually. That's why. What is? Sorry. Yeah, it is visible, right? Yes, it is visible now, sir. Okay. No, 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 no. Gamma pentin peptide. Yeah, uh, for the medicine part, you're right. Uh, the actual uh, is right. general blood picture i am just uh, telling put a common sense in this i am asking about a lab investigation now why would you write a gabapentin peptide just don't google please and uh, what are the next things uh, acute phase reactants rheumatoid factors okay rf and anti ccp antibodies i'll tell you in a quick uh, like what is a rheumatoid factor is that it recognizes the fc portion of the igg does anyone know what is fc portion what is fc portion of the antibody you must have read the antibody diagrams the yeah, fc portion is uh, when you recall a uh, antibody diagram it, it is responsible that is for the biological activity so just remember it recognizes uh, fc portion of the igg immunoglobulin can be igm igg iga and uh, 85% see gross 
patients like 85 percent with RA over the first two years become RF positive. Okay, the negative may be repeated four to six months for the first two years of the disease and may take 18 to 24 months to become zero positive. Okay, so keep in mind that. So what is its prognostic value? Patient with high titers of RF is general tend to have poor prognosis, more extra articular manifestation. Okay, so 85% of people you see there are they becomes RF positive for the first two years, and the prognostic value is and with the high titers of RF, there is a poor prognosis and most many like extra articular manifestations are presented with the patient. So next is uh, what you see is causes of the positive, like what are the other causes also? These rheumatoid arthritis, chagrin, vasculitis, sarcoidosis, cryoglobinemia, chronic liver diseases. So you should know all these, but other things can cause rheumatoid factor positive for the patient. This, for all, this is all for the exam point of view. So NTCCP, okay. So IgG against synovial membrane peptide damage via inflammation. And sensitivity is 65 and specificity is 95. So it is highly uh, recommended and it is both diagnostic and have a prognostic value. So as I told, patient you are writing for an RA factor. So you should always suggest an anti-CCB2 right away. And you should always uh, correlate it accordingly. So, predictive of erosive disease, disease severity, radiologic progression, and poor function. What is uh, what you understand of erosive disease? In medical terms, what does the meaning of erosive? Anyone? So erosive. Yes, someone has replied. Destruction. This would, yes, good. Very nice. So as you understand, erosion means there is a destruction. Okay, there is a bone erosion, and there is a, a, it leads to what we call functional uh, decreased functional capacity and the joint damage for the patients. Next, acute phase reactants, you see, there is a mild elevation to moderate and to marked elevation, positive acute phase, okay? Negative is albumin transferrin, positive is mild elevation, you see ceruloplasmin complement C3C4, mild it comes to haptoglobulin, fibrinogen, alpha-1 and alpha-1 proteas and uh, acid glycoprotein. And marked elevation you see is CRP, serum amyloid A protein. So, uh, see, you can don't get all the tests at all the centers. Some uh, people might be working in a government periphery. Suppose I am work, I am also working here. So, what are the common tests you can write, which uh, which is available easily to everyone? Name a few tests that you will write. You suspect a patient is suffering from osteoarthritis. Oh, sorry, rheumatoid arthritis. CRP, ESR, good. RA factor, good. Three. Next. CRP, ESR, RA factor. IgG. Uh, Deepthi Pala, is it available at your place? IgG, if you're working at a hospital. RA factor, yes. CBC, ESR, CRP, RA factor, and one, one is missing, most important, as I told, NTCCP. Good. These are the common tests you should always write anywhere you are. Okay. So, for a good corporate setup, you see every, every test is available. These tests uh, in government setups are available for free, and uh, you can suggest. Uh, to patients for the same. Okay, good. Next. 
the other ab abnormalities elevated APRs, that ESR CRP thrombocytosis, leukocytosis, ANA 30 to 40 percent, antinuclear antibodies, inflammatory synovial fluid, and hypoalbuminemia. So, how would you know it is an inflammatory synovial fluid? How would you know that? You have written lab and normalities. How how did I get to know it is inflammatory synovial fluid? What will I do for that? The CRP. Okay. No, no. So synovial fluid. Aspiration, Sadia Sheikh. You need to say word aspiration. Synovial fluid with needle aspirations. Good. Yes. Aspirate the synovial fluid. So uh, I'll. Uh, there's a question for you. Do you think CT scan for a knee joint will be helpful for this to know that a per person is suffering from any synovial fluid as uh, inflammation? Can a CT scan help for it or an MRI? A CT and MR, uh, or an MRI for the patient. What do you write for a patient? What do you write? A CT? Uh, uh, how many of you are working in a rural setup? Anyone working in a rural setup? So I'll, I'll suggest you people is before writing a CT and MRI, always, always ask for an affordability for the patient first. You never know uh, how what kind of a patient is there who's coming to you. Ask for the affordability. Not every doctor can aspirate synovial fluid. So basically, always go with the basic investigations first. And if you suspect the disease, disease has burst and then you can suggest for an ortho review, then you can go for a CT or an MRI. Okay. So next. Okay. Tell me, you see A, B, C bones. What do you see in an A bone? Uh, what do you see in a B and what do you see in a C? I'll, I'll check what is the presence of mind for you people. You'll get, I'll get to know now. What do you see in an A bone? B and a C. Come on, come on. Someone has replied the erosion in the C, very nice. And what for A and B? So, uh, Sadia Sheikh uh, and Monica, tell me what kind of erosion it is. Is it a marginal or it is complete? And what kind of uh, yeah, erosions? What kind of erosion do you see? It is a marginal or a complete erosion? Yes, good. See, it is marginal. You see that? It is a marginal and it is a subchondral erosion. Always remember. And for the A bone, what is in the A bone? What do you see in the A bone? Anyone? Osteopenia. Very nice. How do you define it as an osteopenia? Come on. But how do you see it is an osteopenia? Osteopenia, there is a lack of bone mass, is more of a blackish area. Okay. See, osteopenia is, but do you understand there is a bone loss? Okay, you see. 
there is a, a lot of bone loss you can see good for the two you have replied tell me for the b what is what has happened in the b for the b inflammation okay see i'll tell you see you can see there is a joint space okay you can see joint space here what kind of joint space do you see here is it symmetrical or asymmetrical first of all are the bones symmetrical or asymmetrical there is symmetry in them or there is no symmetry in them see the diagram carefully there is no symmetry anyone else see the bone is symmetrical only see the joint space you see that but are the bone spaces narrowed or are the bone spaces widened tell me what is a uh, like joint spaces are narrowed yes good 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 so there is a narrowing of bone spaces but it is in a symmetrical way now you understand me everyone you understood all the abc diagrams very well so now you can easily check for the x ray and you can diagnose it well so for the a you see there is an osteopenia see there uh, what you see is in the bone b part so there is a narrow what we say is narrow uh, joint space symmetry but it is symmetrical okay and it is uniform okay it is not on the one side or the other side there is a symmetry of the joint okay and it is uniform in nature and also there is a uh, narrowing of the joint space okay for the a it is osteopenia for the b it is uniform symmetric joint space narrowing and for the c it is marginal subchondral erosions next okay what do you see in such pictures so there is uh, i'll i'll be quick on this see this you see that as i told there is a subluxation you see that understood everyone there is a subluxation of the joints okay yes here you see that this is atlanto axial axial joint there is a loosening of the ligaments and thickening which is causing the cord compression you see bone are compressing the cord see how beautiful it is written you can see that